हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एथ वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ क्लास एथ साइंस सो वी आर डीलिंग विद अ सेकंड यूनिट दैट इज फोर्सेस एंड प्रेशर सो इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट सरफेस टेंशन एंड विस्कोसिटी सो दीज आर द कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू लिक्विड ओके सो इन आवर डेली लाइफ वी हैव ऑब्जर्वड रेन ड्रॉप्स water droplets okay why are these rain drops a spherical in shape we have all noticed they will be almost spherical in shape like balls right small balls okay why it is so why can't they take some other uh, form a liquid flowing out of a very small opening of a tube or tap comes out in the form of fine drops and not as a continuous stream why it is so okay so the only one answer a small concept is nothing but surface tension so why it is so the mystery is nothing but the surface tension so what is the surface tension how it is related to the spherical shape of the water droplets or the rain drops so let us study it now so the surface tension is the stud property of a liquid the molecules of a liquid experience a force which contracts the extent of their surface area as much as possible so as to have the minimum value so what these molecules of liquid will do they experience force okay so because of that force it tries to contract the extent of their surface area so what this liquids uh, experience a some kind of a force because of that force they try to reduce their surface area as much as possible so that the surface area value becomes smaller and smaller okay so this phenomena is called as surface tension tension in the surface okay tension in the surf on the surface nothing but the surface tension why it is coming where from where the tension is coming all these things we will learn in our uh, higher studies but for now you should know that the molecules of the liquids will experience a kind of a force and because of that force what happens this liquid tries to have a smaller surface area and they try to contract the surface tension can be defined as the property of liquid by virtue of which the free surface of the liquid at rest behaves like a stretched membrane having contracting tendency so all this phenomena of surface tension is applicable when the when the liquid is at rest okay so whenever we see the free surface of the liquid which is at rest then it behaves like a stretched membrane okay so it it acts like a stretched membrane having kind of a tension or a contracting tendency contracting tendency is nothing but it tends to have a smaller surface area and this phenomena is called as surface tension the amount of force acting per unit length we said those molecules of liquid will experience force right that force per unit length on the surface of the liquid is called as surface tension okay you can define surface tension in any of this a uh, manner because all of them will give you the same meaning okay the si unit of the surface tension is newton per meter force per unit length force by length force unit of force is newton unit of length is meter so force by length that is newton by meter that is nothing but newton per meter okay so this is about surface tension in brief okay we are not going into 
a deep discussion regarding the surface tension just you need to know what is surface tension what is the SI unit of surface tension what exactly it is it's a kind of a force acting I mean, uh, experienced by the molecules of liquid it's a property of a liquid all these little things you should be aware of okay so what are the applications of the surface tension then what is the use of it what do molecules rise up due to surface tension xylem tissue are very narrow vessels present in plants water molecules are absorbed by the roots and these vessels help the water to rise upward due to the capillary action which is caused by the surface tension of the water so we all know that xylem is a vessel i mean xylem carries water to the different parts of the plants from its roots right we know all these things so how exactly it carries see always whenever uh, when we see the liquid it will be falling from top to bottom in very few cases with the help of external forces we have seen that the water will be going from top to sorry bottom to top so here also the water should go from root to the other parts of the plant that will be obviously from bottom to the top so what is the action behind this how it is exactly happening inside the xylem we all know that xylem carries it so how exactly it happens in the xylem so we know that xylem is a very narrow vessel or a tissue present in the plants right it's a very narrow canal kind of a thing so water molecules are absorbed by the roots and these vessels help so water will be absorbed by the roots yes and these xylem vessels what they do they with the help they are a narrow tissues right what happens when you uh, for example it's similar to that of you take your refill pen refill right uh, empty refill which is open in both the sides it should not be closed at one end okay or a straw sometimes you take uh, very narrow it should be the meaning is very narrow you place it inside the um, water container okay you can see that the water level outside the uh, tube and water level inside the tube will be different the water level inside the narrow canal or the narrow chamber will be more or it will be at certain heights so why it is so we have all absorbed it right so why it happens because this is due to the surface tension of the water okay so because of the surface tension what happens the water will raise inside the no narrow channel so here also the xylem is a narrow channel because of the surface tension of the water this water will raise inside the xylem okay so that's how xyl xylem will help in the capillary action this raising of water inside the narrow canal is called as capillary action so because of this the water will be supplied to the different parts of the plants so here the surface tension plays a major role right if there is no water supply to the different parts of the plants then nothing would have happened right for a given volume the next application for a given volume the surface area of a sphere is the minimum this is the reason for the liquid drops to acquire a special shape a spherical shape so we all have learned it right uh so you are given with the some volume of water or any kind of a liquid in which shape it will have a smaller surface area if you go on calculating it the volume is same okay the volume is same in which shape in which figure that same volume will have smaller surface area not it is nothing but the spherical shape not in the cubical shape not in the cuboid shape but in the spherical shape the same volume will have a lesser surface area so we all know that because of the surface tension the liquid uh, surface will have will tend to have a less surface area that's why 
it will tend to have a take a shape of spherical sphere okay that's why the raindrops are in spherical shape i hope you understood it i mean see whatever the liquid you take if you uh, take water okay water a little bit of water in which shape it will have the smallest surface area if you calculate it will be in the spherical shape so we know that because of the surface tension any liquid will tend to have a lesser surface area that's why the water will obviously or try to take the shape of a sphere so it looks like this right water droplets spherical shape okay moving on water strider insect slides on water surface easily due to the surface tension of the water this we must have seen right uh, insect which slides easily on water this is very much easy for that insect because there is some surface tension if there is no surface tension what would have happened the insect would have sunk in the water right so because of the surface tension because of presence of surface tension this insect could easily float or easily move on the surface of the water during heavy storm sailors pour soap powder or oil into the sea near their ship to decrease the surface tension of the water this process reduces the impact of the violent water current against the against the wall of the ship it is not all of the ship it is wall of the ship okay so whenever we pour uh, oil how on water how it looks it's like looks like a bubble shape right what it, why it is bubble bubble in shape uh, spherical bubbles because they tend to have the smaller surface area that's why they take such a shape in which the surface area will be very less so it will form this kind of a structure which will help in reducing the violent impact of the violent current okay impact of the waves which are coming towards the ship so that's why they pour either the soap 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 powder or the oil into the water so these are the uh four different applications of surface tension which we will come across in our day to day life okay so we have all observed if we take water uh, then oil then honey if we start pouring like this so which of them will be flowing faster you are taking beaker of water a beaker of oil a beaker of honey or a glass of honey glass of water and glass of oil so and you are starting you are pouring it you start to pour it so which of them will flow faster obviously the water and which will be the slowest one honey right so why it is so why they have different speeds why they are different so this is answered by a special force named viscous force so what exactly is present in these thing which are which are different so here you can see the one picture which is so uh, representing the um uh, solid i mean not the solid it is representing this whole thing is liquid and this gray colored thing is nothing but the surfaces of the container which contains this liquid this blue color which you are seeing what you are seeing is nothing but the liquid present inside the boundaries two boundaries okay so if you see what exactly happens see we can consider this whole liquid into different different layers okay 
so which you will not see in uh, reality but we can consider that there are different layers of liquid there are different layers when the liquid starts to move in one direction it is moving in this direction when liquid starts to move the upper layer will be starting to move but the layer which is below it will try to take it back okay so what happens there is a force of attraction or there is a force between the layers of the liquid so because of which it becomes difficult for that liquid to move easily like water it becomes a bit difficult if the force is more the movement will be restricted if the force is less the liquid will move easily okay so this is nothing but this special force which is inside the liquid layers is called as viscous force when a liquid is flowing there is a frictional force between the successive layers of the liquid so what we are doing we are considering that there are different layers of the liquid when one layer tries to move other layer will restrict the movement of the first layer okay so because of which there is a restriction for the movement of the whole liquid so this is nothing but the viscosity or the viscous force when a liquid is flowing there is a frictional force between the successive layers of the liquid this force which acts in order to oppose the relative motion of the layer is known as viscous force such a property of liquid is called as viscosity so the force is the force which is uh, restricting the movement of the different layers of liquid is nothing but the viscous force and this property of a liquid to have such kind of a restriction is called as viscosity the viscosity force is measured by the unit called poise in cgs system remember we have studied different systems and among that we studied particularly about three different systems the first one was cgs where c stands for centimeter g stands for grams and s stands for seconds okay so in that system the unit is poise and in si system si unit system so it is kg meters kg per meter second okay or newton second per meter square so in si unit the si unit of viscosity or the viscous force is kg per meter second or newton second per meter so this is about surface tension and viscosity so the surface tension will be on the surface of the liquid a free surface of the liquid is at rest viscosity will be the phenomena related to the different layers which is inside the liquid i hope you are understanding first we studied what is exactly there in on the top on the surface of the liquid then we went inside the liquid and we studied about the different layers which are present i mean not exactly present but they behaves like so okay so what actually happens when a liquid tries to flow there is a restriction for the flow how that restriction is coming due to the relative frictional force between the layers okay so this is about viscosity and surface tension so this um, concept needs little bit of uh, imagination and all thing because we this two things which we will not be seeing in our daily life right the examples of the applications we can see but what is this uh, surface tension where exactly it is present or the where are the different layers of liquid if we go on search in a bottle of water where are the different layers of this water we cannot see they all are little bit of abstract concepts so what you need to do is go through the textbook again and again read it again and again try to understand the 
concept okay a little understanding regarding this is enough for your class you need not go why actually uh, the surface tends to have very um, small surface area why can't it have a bigger surface area all these things will be answered in your uh, higher classes for now you should know that it should have a smaller surface area it tends to have smaller surface area that's why it will take a spherical shape okay thank you